But this deal is all about bringing together the world's leading professional cloud and the world's leading professional network. Uh, if you think about how people work today, it's split between these two worlds. They're using Office on a daily basis. They're using systems like Dynamics for their CRM and human capital management. And then, of course, they're using their professional network. And the dream that I've always had is, how do we make this come together so that we can serve our customers? So when I think about reinventing productivity and business process, this is really about completing that scenario. Uh, and Reed, Jeff, and I have known each other for a while, and we've been talking about these things to, uh, together for a while. But to me, this is about the next phase of growth for Microsoft. Of course, we can do things commercially in terms of integrations. Uh, but when I think about the opportunity ahead around productivity, business process, and the professional network, it's a tremendous opportunity to expand our ability to grow. So Satya, again, when exactly did this phase of the conversation uh, begin? And, and tell me what you see as the crown jewel, the, the core asset that LinkedIn has that's going to really enable uh, that reinvention of productivity that you've talked so much about? I would say we started in earnest in uh, February talking about some of the deep scenarios. Uh, LinkedIn by itself you know, is a multi-sided market. Uh, there is LinkedIn membership. Uh, and that LinkedIn member, along with uh, the Office 365 usage, because these professionals are using Office 365 on one side and LinkedIn on the other side. So that's one massive opportunity for us to increase engagement on both. But think about the other side of LinkedIn. It is about higher market sell and learn. That's all business process. That's a huge opportunity for us to integrate and expand into business processes with Dynamics. So those are the two sides that are both crown jewels of LinkedIn but really, it's about putting them together with the crown jewels of Microsoft, that is Office 365 and our cloud. And that's what's sort of super exciting. And we started talking about it in February, and since then, things have picked up pace. Jeff, obviously, we remember talking to you after that, uh, that January or February earnings call, and you're selling for where the shares were just before that. Uh, how do you feel about price, and what does it say about the U-turn that we've made in the shares since that time? Yeah, for us, it's always been about the realization of our long-term objectives, mission and vision. And this combination very meaningfully accelerates our ability to realize those goals. It also takes our scale to a completely different level. And you look at Microsoft's footprint across over a billion customers and the opportunity to seamlessly integrate our network within the Microsoft cloud to create a social fabric, if you will, that can be seamlessly integrated into areas like Outlook, Calendar, Office, Windows, Skype, Dynamics, Active Directory. Uh, for us, that was an incredibly exciting opportunity. Jeff, you write in your letter to employees about the intensifying competition from the large cap tech companies about wanting to be part of one of those instead of going up against one of those. I'm wondering what benefits you think the scale of Microsoft will give you, considering that you'll still be a relatively standalone company, and whether you think other companies faced with the same threat of competition should make the decision you made. Yeah, you know, it dates back to the third quarter of last year. There was a clear pattern that emerged uh, following uh, the earnings reports from the tech titans, if you will. Uh, you look at uh, Google, Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, and Facebook, and within the span of a few days after their earnings reports, collectively those companies increased their market capitalizations by somewhere on the order of $100 billion. It used to be that scale was hundreds of millions of users and billions of dollars of market cap. Today it's billions of users or customers and hundreds of billions of dollars of market cap. And the combination of our two companies, having Microsoft behind us, just enables us to realize the things that we always dreamt of doing. And so we're excited about it. Hey CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.